Hey guys, the point of this video is to show you how to make a trend line when you have an equation, or sorry, starting over, to show you how you have a trend line when you have a chart put into the middle of your spreadsheet. Uh, you'll notice if you watch the video before this, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but if you watch the video before this, we made some numbers, we put in some X's and Y's, and then we let Google Sheets do the rest in order to create this picture. I, of course, added the background color, and if you don't like the color or you think that you want to have a different thing, it was only in our chart style. Um, I can customize the background color, make it have no background color. I can just customize the border color, make it have none. Font, that sounds kind of fun. Hey, look at that. Anyway, um, I also set it to maximize, and I don't want to do that. I want to see more of these uh, y-axis and x-axis lines. Plot null values? Interesting. Compare the mode? That doesn't do anything. Anyway, what I want to, to show you is that you can put a chart uh, with a trend line into your sheets. All you got to do is from the chart, notice as I'm moving my mouse around, different boxes pop up. And there's actually a box, although it's not really there. Like circles pop up at actual circles, like points on the graph. But if you click on the blue line, we're going to get over here in the series some ways to mess with the color of the line itself. Maybe you don't want to have a line that has color at all. Black, bitter, like my life. And maybe long dashes in it. Uh, the thickness should be like eight. Point is, you can mess with the size or direction of the line. I'm here to tell you how to put a trend line in it. Done. Oh, wait, that's a linear. We don't want a straight line trend. Sometimes there is a straight line trend. Those are the best kind. But we might want to have an exponential. And an exponential trend line actually does go through. You're going to see me hovering over there. Glitchy, 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 but there it is. You get a little bit of a straight line going down and the, the path of the points. And our label for it, you can mess with it. Let's go line opacity. Let's make it a solid black line. Let's make it eight as well. Kind of already have this information. What are error bars is? Oh, that's kind of fun. Data labels. Hey, data labels. Let's me have you see the numbers. That's a lot of information. I don't want data labels. But anyway, it's there. None. Use equation. Ta-da! We have an equation now. So the trend line that goes through all of our points is 56 times the number e, that's right, the number, 56 times the number e to the power of negative 0.693x. That was the numbers that we got from here that created this graph that we then use trend line, use equation. And this equation, if you go to Desmos, you can type this equation directly into Desmos. I'll have to say it and copy it over. 56 E, that's right, E, see, it's a number. E is the number 2.718281828459045. Anyway, so I don't care about that, but um, typing 56 E to the power of negative 0.693x. Boom, done, graph. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Pound it. Noggin.